<clears throat> Brief, oh, no, I you got it? Okay, all right. Start over. <laughs> Brief opening statement. Uh, great day for the Tigers in game two. Uh, just a fantastic atmosphere to, to play softball in tonight. Um, super excited to get that first W at home under our belt. Um, dealt with a little adversity in the first game and, and took a loss in a, in a tough-fought game. Uh, I thought Western Carolina's pitcher did an extremely good job of keeping, of all, keeping us off balance and uh, we had a couple of opportunities to score and just couldn't get the timely hit. And uh, unfortunately, they got the timely hits, and, and that's softball sometimes. And, um, you know, we had, we had more hits in them, and, and I thought we, we really played well. We just came up on the short end of the stick. And so I was really proud of our team, the way they battled back in the second game. Uh, certainly, Cagle's two-run homer in the, in, in the early in the game kind of took the monkey off our back a little bit. And Logan Camel, what a performance tonight. I mean, um, a no-hitter, 11 strikeouts, I think is what she finished with. Um, just a dominating performance and took a lot of pressure off of us. And um, so we're super excited about getting that win. And, and uh, what a great atmosphere, like I said, tonight. Just special to be a part of this, uh, be a part of history. What's it like to have Logan? She was your first commitment mm -hmm. to, to pick up this first win for, for you. You know, it, it was special because, you know, um, Logan's been here an entire year and she worked hard last year. You know, we, we didn't play any games. So those kids sacrificed a little bit. Um, and, and Logan really, you know, from the adversity she's gone through in her life uh, to be where she's at right now is, is pretty amazing. And it, it makes you very proud as a coach um, to see her perform the way she did tonight. And to see fans in the seats, you know, you've been waiting for that for months and months and months, years, really. What was it like to see everyone there and to hear them cheering for you? It was awesome, you know, to, to hear the, the cheers from the stand and the, the, um, just the en enthusiasm that the fans had about the game of softball. And, and you know, we really, we've scrimmaged here. Um, we've never played with the scoreboard on. So there, there was just a lot of emotions, a lot of things going through everybody's mind. And, um, but it was really special. I think the fans here are just outstanding. And, you know, you, we knew from, from fan day that we were going to get a lot of support, and we're, we're truly appreciative of that support. But just to, to feel the environment and the excitement of the fans was, was so special. It's something we'll, we'll never forget. Coach, were y'all just, um, I think in that first game, over seven with runners in scoring position? Were you just pressing a little bit, you think? In that I first think game? so. You know, I, I, you know, it's every every at bat is almost like everybody's trying to make history, you know. And and this is a you know fast pitch softball, you know it's tough. You know we we just didn't get the timely hit. You know I thought we pitched well enough to win that game. I thought we played defense well enough. We we just did not get the timely hit, and that's the way the ball bounces sometimes, you know. And uh, but hats off to our team and our players that came out in the second day, uh, game and and got the win. You had some of your your veterans out there leading the way, and you're going to rely on them. But how big is it to see Bowery? you know, come through with that big hit. So, so you're getting contributions from the youngsters and the older players. No question. Our, our, uh, our upperclassmen have been just terrific leaders for this program, um, both by, you know, verbally and, and uh, you know, just showing them how to do the ropes every day. And um, so we're very blessed to have the upperclassmen that we have and the leadership we have. Uh, in, in them, but Valerie Cago, I tell you, she's a special athlete. You know, she, she throws the ball really well in the circle and she's only gonna get better. You know, she's just coming back off of an injury, so she's just now uh, starting to get her endurance underneath you, so she's gonna be one heck of a pitcher for us. But she also plays center field for us, and as you saw tonight, she's one heck of a hitter as well. So, um, you know, just a very talented athlete, and we're, we're looking forward uh, to big things from Valerie. Does it say about a freshman that she can kind of go inside out and take the power the opposite way? Like oh yeah, she did. you know she's she's one of those players. She's she's a five tool player, and uh, you know when you throw that she can go out in the circle and, and pitch for you and, and be a dominating pitcher as well at times. You know she's she's a special athlete, and and like I said, you know she's young. She's a freshman. You know she's still got a lot of growing to do. So the future is very bright for her in our program. Last weekend was a weekend of first for you guys, and obviously again today. Do you think it gets easier now to just go out and, and play softball and get in a daily routine now that it's not first hit, first K at home, everything about that? There's no question. You know, you, you talk about limiting the distractions and you talk about, you know, preparing for what might be um, being on the road for the first time, playing at home for the first time. But until you've actually done it and lived it, it's, it's hard to prep for. And so definitely I think we'll, we'll, we'll play a lot more relaxed the next time we're out here on this field. And, and we're learning and, and getting experience as we go. So 
relying on our upperclassmen to kind of lead us, but, but I think the more games our freshmen get under their belts, the better off we're going to be. Speaking of next time on the field, you got Maryland and Michigan State coming in this weekend at the ACC Big Ten Challenge. What are you going to be looking for out of your out of your club? Well, I think the biggest thing that I'm looking for is just consistency. You know, let's let's carry the momentum off of this win tonight. Um, let's stay consistent in the circle. Um, let's continue to put pressure on the defense. You know, with with uh, getting base runners on base and and let's play good defense. And I think that's one thing we did tonight is is we really played better defense than we did last weekend. And we're, we're, we're going to need that this weekend against some very stiff competition.